12 women got to be part of the Pomp and Circumstances graduation season after completing the third cohort of the Female Entrepreneurship Program. The program, which is a collaboration between Beltrade, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Embassy of Taiwan, sought to empower women who were already small business owners so that they would be able to better manage their respective businesses. And the guest speaker, Prime Minister John Brisenio, pointed out that women have always possessed entrepreneurial skills. Women run the most difficult business in the world. They run a home, the family by generally. So when we are talking to them about budgets, they understand budget. They know finance, they know that if they have $100, they have to make sure that that $100 could last the entire week until they could get some, some, some more money. When you look at marketing, um, you all could get your children to eat food that don't really nice, and you convince them that they have to eat it because it's good for them. <laughs> or they could convince a husband that um, you don't have to go tonight. You know, just say, um, go, go if you want. And you know what that means, that you better stay home. The leadership skill that you, that you have at home every single day, making sure that kids get up in the morning, and making sure that the house is clean, that everything is in order, <clears throat> that, that, that requires a, um, a, a special skill. So really what, we, what, what Beltrade has been doing today is just to formalize what you know. And to in, in, in fact, to let you realize that, that there's so much that you already know. And that there's, um, that basically you have the skills to run a successful business. You do it every single day. As we know, women play a key role in our communities and they are the most important pillar to support our family and the society. However, women also suffer from gender bias, resource deficiency, economic inequality, inequality and even uh, domestic violence, especially during the period of pandemic COVID-19. And one of today's graduates, owner of Yesi's Cuisine and Catering, who also has a brand new hot sauce on the market, explained that her latest product came about because she wasn't able to provide her usual service during COVID-19. So she decided to create something that she could send out while she stayed safe at home. But even before COVID, she dreamed of being a part of Beltrade's training sessions. I got started in Beltrade a few years ago. Um, I used to be a catering business. I used to cater finger foods and foods for, um, for St. Beltrade, for their seminars. I started catering their seminars. And I said once, to one of the trainer or one of the advisors, I said, I don't just want to come here and deliver my food. I want, they want to be in that class. The challenges I faced was time. I needed to find a balance between time for home, for work, and now to be in a class. I had to be, I had to put my priorities first. What was my priority? And for me, the training was my priority. I had to make sure everything was done and my days to be free for me to be in that class. I learned to budget more. I learned to be more on, on prior, prioritizing what is that I should take care of first. And uh, I believe with everything, I don't believe, I know that with everything I learned in that class, and now I'm putting it to practice, that will be a big change for my future and for the future of my kids. And while Gera is a part of the food and beverage sector, other sectors involved in this training included agro-processing, creative industries, and health and wellness. And all 12 graduates were from the Orange Walk and Corozal districts. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.